Hello friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see about how to install and configure Free Epos Server on CentOS. Free Epos Server is an open source identity management system for Linux or Unix environments, which provides the centralized account management and authentication, which is similar to Microsoft Active Directory or LDAP. So, Free Epos is a combination of 389 directory server. MIT Kerberos, Apache HTTP Server, NTP, DNS and DocTag which is used for certificate system and SSST which makes it as a single integrated security solution to manage the identity policy and perform audit trial. FreePA comes with the web UI and the command line tools to perform the administrative tasks. So now we can see the installation of FreePA server on CentOS. For installing the free EPR, you need to first set the hostname using the hostname ctl command. So you can set the hostname first using the hostname ctl. I'll give enter. Now the hostname is set. Next we need to run this execute bash command. We'll make the changes in the hostname instantly. So now we can check the host name. Now we can see the host name is changed to freepa.krishnatstechinfo.in. After setting the host name using the host name ctl command, you need to add the entry in the etc host file. I've already added the host entry for this domain. So you need to add your local IP address, which is the private IP and next the domain name that you're going to configure this free per server. So after setting up this in the etc host file, now we can install the free per server. So you can use the free per server with the HIPAA server DNS, which is the integrated DNS in free per server. So you can also install without the integrated bind DNS. So we can use the uninstall HIPAA server command. If you want the integrated bind DNS, you can also install the HIPAA server DNS package. So I am going to install without the integrated DNS. I don't have the registered domain name. So if you have the registered domain name, you can use the integrated DNS to configure the free HIPAA server. So now the package is installed. So after installing the HIPAA server package, you can start the free HIPAA server installation using the HIPAA server install command. So now we can run this HIPAA server install. First it is asking for do you want to configure with the integrated DNS that is bind. So I'm going to give no. I'm not going to use any DNS server here. So next you need to set the server host name. Now confirm the server host name. Next you need to confirm the domain name which I have provided. Next you need to provide the relay name. And now we need to provide the directory manager password which should be 8 characters long. Next you need to provide the free per admin password which you are going to use for the web login. Next you need to confirm the details to be configured with the HIPAA master server. So give us to continue. Now this free HIPAA configuration will take some time. Now the free HIPAA installation is complete. So you can see the setup complete now. You should make sure that the below network port should be open. Next you can obtain the Kerberos ticket using the k init admin command so now we can log in into the free uh, web console now we can use the domain name now browse this url in the browser you need to enter the https and the domain name slash ipa slash ui now we can see the free uh, login page now enter the username as admin and enter your admin password and click login now we can see the free per 
home page so here you can see the user list now only user is admin which we have created during the installation so the host is the free pass host which is added by default after this installation you can run this auth config enable home directory command to allow the users home directory creation automatically after the authentication in this video we saw about the free pa installation on centos you can see more about the free pa server in the coming videos thanks for watching this video post your comments and suggestions please share and subscribe to my channel press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos you can follow me on this instagram id and facebook page for any queries you can reach me on this skype id